So I find it interesting how these First Amendment auditors treat every government building like it's a tourist destination. Then they are act surprised when somebody comes out to ask well, who's photographing, why are they doing it, and, and all the, those relevant questions. And, and then act surprised, um, and then the person who comes out acts surprised why somebody's coming out to photograph this building and, and who are they and what are they doing and it's like that's that's a uh, confusion between a tourist destination and and just a regular government building all right somebody made the argument that the white house is no different than any other federal government building and that's that's not exactly true they the, the people at the the white house actually expect other people to be photographing and on a daily basis to, as popular as it is and they've they've uh, structured their building and security in a way to prepare for photographers i mean they're not like coming out every day from the the White House and asking it's scared saying they're scared and asking who's photographing we got scared we saw people out in front of the White House photographing who who are you what do you want you know you don't see that because they're used to it and do you really think you're going to get people at every government building used to photographers people taking video and and all that no because it's just it's not something that happens every day okay the the first amendment auditor goes through it uh once well they and, and what are the chances that anybody else follows up on on any kind of tourist activity all right it's going to be pretty rare so that one time that uh, oops that that a uh, person a First Amendment auditor comes by and <clears throat> and uh, does does their business is is going to be an isolated incident, but the video of the events will have a lasting impression, of course. Uh, because people can watch it over and over and over again without actually having to return. Perhaps First Amendment auditors are a little confused on what happens at tourist destinations. Try going to that famous Las Vegas, welcome to Las Vegas sign. Try going to the Golden Gate Bridge. You'll see what tourists are like, okay? It's no surprise how they act. They take some of the most ridiculous photographs. They have to be they have to pose in front of everything, you know, and all that. All right, they act very touristy. All right, there's a mannerism involved with the the photographing uh, for that. And when when uh, people come out of the public buildings, the government buildings, and see uh, the First Amendment auditors, they they see a different mannerism, not like a tourist. It's, it is more suspicious, all right? If you don't understand how tourists normally do it. So, you have to be mindful of, of your activities. And if you're gonna be that isolated person who comes out and, and does that video recording of a government property, um, and then and you get all offended about having your rights violated on top of that, yeah, okay, sure, the cop pushed pushed the boundaries a little bit, um, but you have to you have to see it from their 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 angle. Yeah, the 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 government building may be publicly owned, but that doesn't mean the public all has uh, good security clearance to access it. So it's there there are boundaries for. Uh, access to certain buildings it's it's for security reasons you can't just let everybody 
in and out of a building because there are criminals amongst the the good people just like you, you hear with political groups and stuff there's extremists okay there's extremist first amendment auditors so that's something to be aware of and and wary of and that's why anybody who's partaking in these risky activities needs to recognize that